Now you've seen how the trucks are being assembled. How about it's time for us to check out the hardware. Now we are here at the Tokyo Motor Show and what you have behind us is the UD Trucks booth here at the bigger uh, site in Tokyo. Now earlier you saw how the trucks were being assembled. Here they are not only featuring their latest model which is the Questa but also one of Japan's favorite heavy duty trucks. That white big thing over there that's called the Kwon. Now let's go and check out what else they have at the booth here at the Tokyo Motor Show. Okay, this part of the booth is about fuel efficiency for the Kwon model and we're looking particularly at the transmission. So my friend Koji here, if you want to come over here, Koji here is playing the truck driver and the idea is he's supposed to uh, achieve a good percentage score. There's undulations on the road, if you can see up there. Now the road is sloping down, so he's got the gas off so that he does not have to step on the pedal and does not have to burn fuel. And then, as soon as he's back on the flat surface, he goes back down. Uh, and, and as the road goes up, then he steps on the gas even more. So the idea of this exercise is to see how fuel efficient you can be. It's not about being lead heavy on your foot when you're driving a truck. It's about how light footed you are so that you get the best results in fuel efficiency. So Koji, what is the score? 37. He beat me. He got 37. I got 26. But this is about fuel efficiency. Now over at this corner, we get to see the entire range of engines produced uh, in the UD trucks stables. It goes from the heavy duty range all the way up to the uh, medium uh, usage or medium duty range. Now, this of course is the mother of them all. This is the GH13 uh, and it is mounted on the AGV system as seen in the factory. Now this engine produces 480 bhp and a whopping 2,157 newton meters of torque, making this one of the best uh, heavy duty engines here uh, in Japan as far as trucks go. Then we have this one here, which is the GH11. Along with the GH13, they form the heavy duty range for duty trucks. And then we have that over there. Now that is the GH7, and that is the GH5. Now these two engines, the 7 and the 5, form the medium uh, duty range trucks. Now this engine here, it's compact, it's lightweight and it produces 215 brake horsepower and 628 newton meters of torque. Now don't forget, when you're talking about truck engines, it's the torque that matters because you want pulling power, alright? And then, all these engines, especially that one there, is paired to this baby over here. Let's see, the Escort B, Japan's number one uh, AMT, smooth ship, smooth ride. As far as the trucking world goes, this is one of the smoothest gearboxes out there. And this can be paired with most of the heavy duty uh, engines, making this a favorite amongst truckers. Okay, and of course, this baby over here is the Questa and it's the latest addition to the UD Trucks launch. And again, even though it's a big truck, it's all about efficiency. The tagline is going the extra mile. And this seems to be a tagline that has been encapsulated within the, the very philosophy of the company itself with its hub uh, uh, axle reduction. This new model is the epitome of going green and being more efficient because not only is it the responsible thing to do but it is also the right way forward for any businesses out there it's about refueling less and running further okay so we are here at the ud trucks booth of the tokyo motor show in the next episode we're going to look at what other goodies are there here at the uh, tokyo motor show but for now stay with us because we've got more stuff on ud trucks Okay, it's not always and often that we hear a global company, a company that produces products for all parts of the world, would actually 
uh, invest in time, research and money in coming up with a product specifically for countries like Malaysia. And countries like Malaysia are bundled together in a market called the growth market. Now it's very interesting to see that UD Trucks of Japan have come up with such a product. A product that is designed specifically to meet the needs of growth markets like Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand. Very interesting to understand what is the logic and the thinking behind it. So we have the father of the UD Trucks latest product, which is the Questa, uh, Mr. Luis Melina, uh, who nice is the to senior. You. Hello, nice to meet you too. Now, uh, Mr. Melina is, of course, the senior vice president of product, brand, and marketing for uh, UD Trucks. But essentially, you're the man behind the Questa. Uh, I am, you know, I would like to team. say that I'm yes. the only one. <laughs> but you know, to build a new truck like Questa, you mm -hmm. need a complete team. Of course. And uh, but I've go I've been part of the inspiration and driving this through the organization. Yes. Good. Now we have a wide range of trucks to choose from in Malaysia, but it's not often that we have a truck designed specifically for a market like Malaysia. So what was it about the market that you saw that said, hey? I can do a truck for this particular market. Well, I mean, uh, first, you know, we, we see needs of customers in Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, but it's also true in the Middle East, in Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the transport companies are becoming more mature. Mm -hmm. You know, they are, they, are, they are requiring more efficiency, you know, and this is the way to survive in this business. I mean, mm -hmm. this business is a difficult business. Uh, and basically, what we are trying to do is bring these companies the kind of efficiency that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And what we believe for, for heavy-duty transport is that a heavy-duty truck is better suited. Mm -hmm. And for us, you know, a heavy-duty truck is a heavy-duty cab, heavy-duty engine, a heavy-duty chassis mm -hmm. that delivers good reliability, fuel economy and durability. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see these needs in, in Malaysia, we see it in Thailand, in Indonesia, where so far, they were more medium heavy type of trucks offering mm -hmm. the market. Mm -hmm. um, so we are trying to differentiate ourselves by really bringing a more efficient product uh, and a product that fleets can afford. What's a, what is a medium heavy duty truck? Uh, for me, a medium heavy duty truck is a, is a medium sized cab, mm -hmm. which is normally 2.1 to 2.3 meter. Mm -hmm. Quester is 2.4. Mm -hmm. Um, um, in Malaysia or in Indonesia or Thailand, it's normally a heavy-duty chassis, quite mm -hmm. robust, but mm -hmm. a six, seven, eight-liter engine. Engine, a smaller engine. A smaller engine. Okay. A and that is good for certain applications, but if you are pulling heavy loads, you know, on highway or, uh, or in a quarry or in a mine, that is not the optimum solution. So why would a business in Malaysia uh, for example, let's take uh, the transport business. Uh, you In Malaysia, you would uh, take uh, goods from Singapore uh, and transport it through Malaysia all the way up to Thailand, for example. Now, why would a Malaysian company need to invest in a heavy-duty truck like the Questa as opposed to just sticking with a medium heavy-duty truck like you mentioned? Well, uh, let's imagine you have to go from Singapore to Bangkok mm -hmm. non-stop. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the driver, one single driver maybe cannot do this. Of course. So he might have to stop and sleep mm -hmm. uh, in the truck. Um, and uh, the optimum solution, if you are, if you want to deliver on time, mm -hmm. and you know, maybe you will have two drivers. Uh, and while in this truck, you can have one driver driving mm -hmm. and one driver sleeping comfortably in uh, the bunk. In the bunk, uh -huh. because the bunk is much wider than any bunk that exists today in the market. Right. Okay. Um, the, the, so that would be from a driver perspective, but mm -hmm. if you put it from the, the fleet perspective, I mean, uh, why do we offer the fleet co the fuel coaching tool? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the fuel coaching tool is here to help the driver drive more efficiently and use less fuel. Mm -hmm. And that, 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 um, that technology linked with the, new, the modern technology engine, uh, GHE11, mm -hmm. uh, basically is also a way to be more efficient. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, these are for us the reasons why we believe it would be a better choice for, for a fleet. Uh, right. That in the end, it will be good for the bottom line. Mr. Melinan, thank you so thank much. You very very much. good interview. Thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you. All right, that's it. Uh, next, uh, we're going to find out a little bit more about the truck itself. How about a drive? So stay with us on Indio.